Hi, this is Joey Smith in forecasting at the University of West Georgia. This model that we're looking at today is called the Winner's Model. The Winner's Model is a forecasting model, a numerical methods forecasting model that's used to estimate when we have a trend and seasonality in the data. We're trying to forecast using data with trends and seasonality in it. And what we're going to look at is jewelry sales. Now, jewelry sales is very seasonal. One of the things we can do to see how seasonal it is, seasonal it is, is we're going to just simply generate a graph and look at the seasonality that is in the data. So, we're going to insert a chart in Excel, and you can see the high points here of jewelry sales right around Christmas time. You, you don't know that this is Christmas, but trust me, those are the high points right around Christmas time when people are buying jewelry for their significant other. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use those jewelry sales to generate a forecast using the winner's model. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to import the data into SAS. And so I've already got the data imported, but in order to import this data, we would just go through File, import data and follow the steps that we've outlined earlier for the import routine. And I've created a library here called class and I put both the jewelry sales and the seasonally adjusted jewelry sales into this library. Okay, so once we have jewelry sales in this library, we can use the solutions tab at the top to generate the winner's forecast. So we go to analysis, time series forecasting, then we have to select the data set. The data set is located in our class library and we're going to select jewelry sales or J-E-W-E-L-S And then we need to select a dependent variable, I mean, um, a variable to estimate out of that data set. And so, what variable are we going to estimate? We're going to estimate sales. And we say, OK. There's no models that have been created yet. But what we do is we click on the model section and we're going to select the model. So we're going to choose the model from a list. And this brings up a list of models in SAS and the ones that we want to use are these right here, the winner's model. But we're going to use the multiplicative winner's model. And so this is going to generate the seasonal indices for us. And we talked a little bit about this. The seasonal index value for each of the months tell us how much above or below that mean for the year that that month is. And so we select that method and say OK. And then we didn't see it happen, but in the background it generated the model. And up here we can look at either the data or view the model graphically. And so here's what the model looks like. We can go back and look at the data and see that the model and the data fit pretty closely together. The blue line fits pretty closely to the black line here. we click on the model again, we can click down here, and this gives us the actual forecasted values. We had through December 2004 in the data set, and SAS predicted 12 months in advance. And so here's the predicted value, as opposed to the actual value. And the error is the difference between the actual and the predicted value. And so when we have a positive error here, as we do in December 2004, it's because the actual value was larger than the predicted value, and vice versa when we have a negative value out here. The seasonal factors or seasonal index values are given in the far right column. If we wanted to deseasonalize the data, we could simply divide through each of the values of the original data by these seasonal factors, and that would give us the deseasonalized value of each one of those points 
in the original data. And so this is how we generate the forecast. If we wanted to look at the forecasted graph, the forecasted graph is given by clicking on this little tab right here above the data. And this gives us what the predicted values are for the next 12 months along with the 95% confidence intervals around those predictions for the next 12 months. And so you can see the prediction is that jewelry sales are going to continue to rise in 2006 but that they're going to see these little bumps in here that represent here is very likely Valentine's Day and the area right around here these are the June May June weddings but you can see that Christmas November and December are much much higher sales months than the rest of the months throughout the year and when we refer back to the seasonal factors we can see that December is roughly 280 percent or 281 percent of the average month throughout the remainder of the year and so that's what that seasonal factor indi indicates. November is a little bit larger than the average month. Uh, so is February. And these are the three high points during the year, the three largest points. Close might be May. As I said, this is a way that we can generate the winner's model using SAS. And thank you for your attention.